What's up? This is Patrick of RadicCards.com, and today we're going to be talking about three different cards acquired over two different occasions. One was at a shop, and then another was at another shop's like trade night thing. So let's jump right into it here. Uh, the first one was a uh, 1994 Finest Refractor Emmett Smith. This is Emmett Smith's first the Chrome Refractor. And so, pretty important card, I think. Great looking set. Obviously, the finest run was introduced with um, high praise in the baseball market in 93 with the refractors containing a print run of 241. Um, now, the 1994 finest refractors for football don't have print runs, but still collected and desirable. Great cards. Beautiful shine, great design, and I've always been an Emmett Smith fan here, and now I am in Dallas, Texas, where the Cowboys play. So, coincidental. I guess. And so uh, I knew that when I saw this, uh, it would not be available again had I run into the dealer. This is the type of thing that gets acquired quickly when people find it at a big show that's proprietary to a specific location. So really glad to get this. I got it for a really great deal and I was happy to add it to the collection. I am dabbling in football, not because I'm bored in baseball. It's like my specialty is baseball, but you know, I'm trying to like widen my scope a bit and so this particular card fits into that scope um, I can't get them all I can't do every sport all the different players all the different sports but when I come across something that is interesting to me uh, I try to pick it up so got this 1994 finest refractor Emmett Smith and I was happy to get get it so there you have it now these other two are acquired um, one of them was acquired actually with the same seller of the uh, the Emmett Smith. This is the 1996 Circa Rave Larry Walker print run of 150. It's got that awesome sparkle finish on there. I uh, really like these cards a lot. 96 was a great year for collecting. It was when um, a lot of the sports car companies were competing with one another and producing really rare inserts and parallels and things and trying to just sort of draw attraction from the market. Like, hey, we've got good stuff too. Come buy our products. Here's what we can give you. And so 96 is littered with amazing releases and Circa is one of those. So when I saw this, I put this aside with the Emmett Smith and I was like, I, I, I think I have to get these two cards. He only wanted a couple bucks for the Walker and that's like, you know, I just don't, he's a Hall of Famer, a great player. It's a rare parallel from the 90s, mid 90s, a very great era for, for cards. So I was I really happy to get this into the collection. Super stoked on this for just a few bucks. I think I paid like four bucks for the Walker. So glad to get that. G great card to have. Now this last one was acquired at a shop. This is uh, 2000 EX Essential Credentials. Tom Glavin, number to 26. There's a, <laughs> there's a sticker behind it. Actually, let me see what the... Yeah, Essential Credentials Future. Tom Glavin to 26. Great card to have. I So when we moved here in October of last year, that month I went over to the shop that had this card and it was still sitting, it was sitting in a showcase. And I was like, well, I'm gonna have to keep that and keep an eye on that. And you know, the price was reasonable. So, but I didn't buy it then and I kind of forgot about it. So I went back to the shop a couple weeks ago and it's still sitting in this showcase. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this card because it's so rare, I'm not gonna see this anytime soon again. The print run of 26, Hall of Fame pitcher, uh, highly collected set from 2000. So I grabbed this card, really glad to have it. It's the a fourth year for the essential credentials for EX essentially, uh, because they started in 97 and the, the popularity of these cards have just really grown quite a bit. So. Super stoked to get these caught this this particular example in the in the archive. This is none of this stuff is going to be museum quality. This is just straight into the archive, no scanning. But I really dig stuff like this a lot. So when I find these, I kind of just cherry pick stuff off. And this is one I had to get. Really beautiful card. Love these. And so really glad to have the 2000 Essential Credentials Future Tom Glavin 26. So there you have it. My three cards there. Really glad to get these in the into the collection. Thanks for tuning in to Radicards TV on radicards.com. I'm your host, Patrick Greenle, and until next time, enjoy collecting. Mm, 
That is good stuff. Oh, hey, how's it going? Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.